Hey, what's up, guys? Pet Man here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at another game here in the South Mech 8 Conference. You got Providence going on the road to take on Olympic. Providence coming off the 21-14 loss to East Mecklenburg. And Olympic coming off a big win over Porter Ridge, 42-7. Here's your keys to victory for both teams. For Providence, they've got to develop some complementary plays off of the triple option that they love to run. Uh, the triple option, they run it from gun, they run it from under center. Um, you know, if you're the other team, you know it's coming. You just got to play good assignment football. Um, Providence, you know, they got to develop some other things. They ran a nice little screen pass. Uh, they tried a deep ball a couple times. Um, you know, they run. Um, they don't run a lot of a route concept drop, traditional drop back kind of routes. Uh, so you know, if you're gonna have the triple option as your basis, and Coach Bowles knows this, you gotta develop your complementary stuff. And I'm sure that they've been working on that, you know, all week in practice. Um, I think your key for Olympic is you gotta build up on your momentum. They've won two games in a row. Uh, the win over Porter Ridge was impressive in my eyes because they got their offense going. I think their defense has played, you know, relatively well, you know, most of the season. But um, for the offense to put up 42 against Porter Ridge says that, you know, Coach Wilkes is getting his uh, modified wing tee going. Um, they're cutting down on the turnovers, which is a good sign. And, um, you know, you got to load up on, on the run. You know, assignment football against the triple option. Uh, the quarterback comes down the line. You know, someone's got to take him. Someone's got to pitch and someone's got to dive. You know, you're, and if you're Olympic, you're going to see it over and over and over again. So, if you, you know, get up on Providence, force them to come out of that offense, you know, you got a good chance of winning the game. I think this game will be close. Um, Providence will have to create turnovers. Um, and they, you know, against their in their game against Somerville, they obviously had they held them down. And Somerville's a run first team. Olympic is a run first team. So this plays into the hands of Providence, but they cannot let the Olympic athletes get into space. I think that's where Olympic has the advantage here. They have more athletes. They just got to execute offensively and not turn the ball over to keep Providence in the ball game. I think it's going to be a close ball game throughout. You like Olympic because of the way they're playing right now. They've got momentum going. But if they if Providence can force turnovers, don't be surprised to see Providence win this one in a close, um, close contest here. Both of these teams are what I would say fringe playoff teams. They got to get the five wins to really have a shot. And both of these teams are looking at each other and saying, this is a game we can win. We got to have it if we're going to make the playoffs. So both of these teams are going to be fired up, ready to go open up conference play. I expect to see a good ball game over at Olympic. And um, that new stadium over there looks beautiful. So if you don't know where else to go Friday night, go down to Olympic and watch a, a good close football game. Thanks for watching, guys. Play safe.